Seamus Watson tries to squirt his way out of that tackle. And France have it. France have it. And that is surely that. Oh, it's never surely that. It's another penalty. And it's another opportunity for Scotland. Price. Hastings, oh. they're going to do it, are they? That's Van der Merwe, oh. yes! <laughs> Another okay. huge the tackle, James Ryan. In this passage of play, there have been three bone crunchers. Advantage being played for Wales for a high tackle. After it goes Josh Adams, oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Yeah, yeah. Player, You'll see it? Josh Adams now just turn his shoulder. No that would suggest he is bracing for contact there. Yeah, on, on the on the second angle we saw there. You see that, that shoulder. Yeah. There's no contact to head there. You had a look there. You, you know we're near the ball. You drop a shoulder. It's not head contact process, but it's reckless and it's a leading shoulder. How you guys? It was your penalty over there. So turn it around. 15 seconds to go, this scrum should do it for Wales, off goes Gareth Davis, decides to give the ball back to Ireland, was that the best decision? Three problems. Oh, oh dear. dear. There's Bergamasco, oh, oh my there's goodness. another for the collection book. Andy good on to it in a try, flash. Try, try, Ricky Flutie, if he gathers, will score. Wales in no rush, but at some stage they're going to have to clear their lines. Jonathan Davis, straight down the field, towards George Ford. Back come England, Farrell. Elliot Daly, Cuthbert chases him down. Elliot Daly for England, scores! Take it! Take it! against his head gone the wrong oh, way look again it's gone too high and look at that bounce on Zebo carried that over a yeah, five meter scrum back tried to keep it in field but in doing so the ball went out in the goal area went into touch in the goal area and because he played it before it had gone over the line it will be a five meter scrum to the French brilliant attacking position Again, the accuracy from Ireland, the, the turnover, the quick ball. You're seeing everything you don't want to see from France if you're if you're uh, Irish eyes. Simon Zebo, always the X factor, always looking for for trying. Dylan Hartley, the hooker. You cannot trip a player. You That's cannot a trip. trip a player. Off you go. Yellow card for Alan Wynne Jones for the trip. Well, that's just half-witted, isn't it? Well spotted, Alan Rowland. Well spotted. It's a little silly little cheap shot, isn't it? It's the equivalent of football of a little, ooh, you know, didn't do a lot of damage, but uh, just, just dull. Trying to stay composed on their own line, or France. They know where that clock is. Dupont, oh, he's launched out, but surely... Surely there's only 79 14 correct, yes. on the clock, unless it's wrong. Yes. There's still a minute to go. Oh my goodness. Well, Teddy Thomas thinks it's funny. Nobody else does. 80,000 in the stadium. Most of them French are going, What were you doing, Antoine? And what clock were you looking Ian Goff for Wales. Oh, knock on. Suddenly the little errors creeping into the Welsh game. And. Perhaps it was words by Paul Well, that was Donegal Callahan, and if I was Declan Kidney, I'll wander in the change room now, and I'd be berating him because that was a silly, petulant little dig. He was chastising Mike Phillips for the mistake that he'd made there. And if that lets Wales back in, well, and he's going to have to suffer watching that again tomorrow. Sheridan now. Oh, oh dear. Drops it on the floor. Phil Vickery. Kendall's very scrappy. Someone's going to go sides. straight here. 
Oh dear, oh dear, oh dear. Lee Byrne, Ryan Jones has to go. Ian Bolshaw, he nearly handed it back to Wales. Players down, injured. Going to get penalised. Penalty to Wales. What is the point in doing this? Is there any Richard. point? And from there on, Phil Vickery See, gets, gets caught. Worse. Mike Tyndall gets into trouble. Andy Gomesall gets caught. Thanks. Yeah, well, I mean, Gomesall made it, but he was given the ball when he shouldn't have been. The very first man when you're in trouble has got to take the responsibility and go straight. Oh, hesitation. It's overthrown. Didn't look right from the word go. Lionel Bootsies kicks it. Can't find touch. Elliot Daly, England still have a chance. Damia Fado, but again, remember. The referee was playing advantage for the penalty against Jefferson Poirot, and there's a bit of a bust up. Listen, he's used his fist to strike another player in the face. It is direct contact with force. It is a red card. What, what, what it is, is a red card. What is the beginning of the push up? It is a red card, okay? Direct contact to the head. It is a red card. Sexton, the change of tactic. And it's just a bounce. Oh. oh, that'll be a penalty. That's a penalty. And it, Deliberate well, knockout by Anthony Boutier. Hugo Keenan. Oh, he's going to go in the bin. Got to go in the bin. Okay, okay, hold on, hold on. We've got. So he's deliberately knocked into touch. So he goes to the bin. We just need to look at everything else. The report is after the ball's been cleared. You've come in, taken a guy that's defenseless with the shoulder. That's also been. Yeah. Danny Kerr becomes the latest England player to go into the bin. You watch, he runs in. Oof. Yeah. Well, you've got to bind in a row, you've got to make an intent to bind. That's petulant and stupid. That's, uh, That's you, just you stupid. People didn't seem entirely happy That's with right. whatever Redmond, whatever Owen Redden was saying. <laughs> and That's it's a penalty to Wales. Oh, now then. That really wasn't going to achieve anything. The ball is nowhere near it, so that is gratuitous. How badly hurt Jones is, we don't know, but... Well, Ryan Jones has got his arms up yeah. in the air. And that, again, is just plain stupid. White again. Missing out Skinner. It's another cross kick this time. Oh. Well, the questions will be asked. Was that punched into touch? Yeah. Yeah. For me, it's a... It has to be a penalty try. Darcy Graham is an international winger, and it would be a given that he would catch that ball and run it in. There's no other defender. Oh, yeah, it's one thing being an experienced international, it's another thing being an experienced scrum half. And we have a look now. Just two clips really highlight where he's like, at the breakdown, you can step back here as a scrum half and let your other players win the ball for you, so you can always see the ball. But realistically, in defence, he's completely out of position. He should be sweeping behind the rook and mall. Had he been there, Andy Good probably would not have scored that try to give England the lead. He really is a massive problem for Italy, and I think he will be for the rest of the game.